Hello friends, Srinivas here. Again, welcome to our channel with another exciting and new topic. And today I'm going to discuss the kind of projects in Oracle. You may have faced uh, this kind of questions like, uh, what are the projects you are working currently? And you should know that uh, in Oracle, what kind of projects uh, the client can have and uh, how you have to handle these projects. Uh, so before, before starting this session, I request you to please subscribe to our channel if you are new to our channel and click on the bell icon to get the latest updates. Thank you guys. So let us start. So in Oracle, basically you will get uh, this kind of project. The first is implementation project. The first project you can uh, have is implementation project. And then we have a support project. Then we have rollout project. Again, we have enhancement project. And we have upgradation project. Okay. So you should know what are these uh, projects and uh, what are the purpose of this project. The first, the implementation project basically, it's a new project. Right, the client in some different uh, application and they want to implement Oracle Fusion application or Oracle EBS applications, and that's why you have to uh, follow the end to end implementation life cycle and uh, implement this project and deploy the application. So, that is an implementation project. Okay, it's a completely new application will be deployed into the client system or client environment and uh, that is the implementation project. So what is support project? The support project, support project is basically supporting an existing application, okay? Existing Oracle Fusion or Oracle EBS application which you are supporting, okay? So what is the rollout project then? Rollout project is nothing but a kind of uh, implementation, but uh, we are not following exactly the new implementation. Suppose there is one implementation happen for an organization, and uh, then we have to roll out or copy the same implementation to a different entity of the same organizations. This is called rollout project. So you don't have to research and analyze uh, extra for this project and uh, gather the requirements because exactly in the same way like one organization has two entity or three entity but they want to roll out the same uh, implementation to different country then you can just copy paste all the setups configurations to the next country or next entity so that is called rollout project What is enhancement project? Enhancement project means there is already an implementation. Okay. And uh, after implementations going forward, you will get some small, small enhancements, uh, building an interface, building new custom reports. Uh, that, that kind of a small project is called enhancement project. What is upgradation? Upgradation project basically upgrading from one application version to another application version. For example, in EBS, uh, currently the client is working in 12.2.6 and they want to upgrade to 12.6.2.10, the higher version of applications. So that is called upgradation version. Okay. So basically, we have uh, this kind of uh, projects in Oracle 
and not only in Oracle, even any ERP application will get this kind of uh, projects. And duration of an implementation project, it can be six months to one year. Okay. Six to 12 months. So basically it depends upon the number of modules you are uh, implementing and uh, what are the complexity of the business of the client if there are uh, it's a vanilla implementation or we have some custom uh, interface custom reports have to deploy for this implementation so based on this you can uh, you can get the timing of this a uh, duration of this uh, implementation okay the team members also depends based on the complexity and the size of the project, number of modules, support projects. Support projects can be post-production support or it's a regular support. The regular support project basically it can uh, it can extend to from one year to five years, ten years because there is a contract between the vendor or uh, implementation partner and client where they need to support the applications okay support the existing applications so it can be extend to like three years five years so it depends upon the agreement between the vendor and the client rollout project within three to four months you can complete the rollout project nothing to do much just copy paste the same setup document you can uh, uh, you can uh, get from the earlier implementation and just change here and there according to the new entity and you can implement this enhancement project again it depends upon what the complexity of the development the reports interface and it can be like one month two months and depends upon the number of components you are building and upgradation project mostly it's a technical upgradation there are the uh, tools available which they can uh, get the application from the earlier version and just impose them into the next uh, the higher version and uh, it's a most of the activities will be done by DBA and uh, the functional team need to test if everything is fine uh, for all the functionalities are working perfectly or not in the upgradation. Okay, so these are the kind of projects we have in Oracle and uh, the tools for support project. How the support projects actually work, this I want to discuss because support projects are basically the, the duration of the support project is very long comparing to other uh, kind of projects because support you have to do for one year, two years, three years and uh, there should be a specific process to support the project within the organization so how it works basically uh, to handle the support projects and ticketing systems there are a lot of uh, tools available in the organizations like one is ALM ALM tool Jira tool and uh, we have service now so these are all support tools actually okay ALM means application lifecycle management or quality center. It's a uh, tool from uh, HP and Jira. It's also very powerful, comprehensive uh, support and ticketing tools. And ServiceNow similarly is a very uh, powerful tool to handle the support projects. Okay. So how support project works? The support projects basically in all these tools there will be a support team they will be enrolled in that uh, tools and uh, the user business user also enrolled as a user in these tools so they whenever they will face an issue production issue they will raise one ticket they will raise one ticket support ticket and uh, based on the nature of the tickets nature of the and uh, based on the modules uh, for which there is issue 
and uh, this ticket will flow to that particular team members or manager of the team so that manager can distribute across the team based on the skill set of the team members and there are other sub components like uh, whether the support issue the issue is what is the nature of the issue like uh, it's a configuration issue it's a custom issue it's a training issue so you have to categorize the issue uh, based on the nature of the issue okay the type of issue you have to categorize in the ticketing tools and also you have to mention how much time it took to resolve the issue and uh, what is the resolution points okay what are the steps required to resolve this issue so all these things you have to mention in this uh, ticket okay so in the ticket there will be a comment section so first when the ticket will be raised and uh, the user will uh, explain everything about the issue then you can uh, ask for the the team member can ask for the screenshot error message and uh, then you have to investigate what is the root cause of the issue then you have to resolve the issue so once the issue is resolved then you can close the ticket so there are various status of the tickets like once the ticket is raised the status is new then you can convert it to make in process or in process then uh, once you have resolved the issue then you can wait for the client response and you can change the status of the ticket to user response okay so once user will test the issue after the resolution if it is satisfied user is satisfied with the uh, resolution then they can close the ticket from their side so that is the whole life cycle of a ticket i hope you understand the complete uh, projects and the uh, process how it works and in next session i will uh, discuss the various phases of implementations and what are the end to end life cycles and what are the different stages and in stages and in in particular stages what are the activities we have to do for now i'm closing this session and we'll meet in next session thank you guys thank you for watching this video